Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Now I recently had someone ask me a question about how do they view the individual bodies in the tree. Now here you can see this says body, but this is the actual feature of the body. It's not necessarily the actual body. Now currently the tree is being displayed in what's called a timestamp order. So we're looking at the order of the features that have been applied. If I turn this off, what ends up happening is, is you see the feature above, in this case, that surface. And that feature above that surface isn't really a surface. It's think, think of it as a collector. Think of it as almost, it's not a layer per se, but it's, a, it's basically another collector of various features that are put into this. Now, um, if I come in here and I go into, let's say, so, pick this, pick that, <coughs> excuse me, and I go, okay, what ends up happening is this, this is the initial target, you'll see here is the body for that target, this is the collector, and now the feature that makes that uh, or is the additional collector <coughs> excuse me of these other surfaces or shape bodies are there so when you turn off timestamp order you actually see the body that's above the uh, feature now if I come in here let me right mouse click and say edit with rollback I can come in and now you can see there's my bodies shows all of my bodies. I can pick additional bodies, do my modifications however I want to. Not a big deal, right? Uh, actually, that was target. Let me come down here and start picking <clears throat> additional. Select OK. And now those additional bodies will get wrapped up into that feature. So I'll do the same thing. And it will roll back. This time I'm going to pick them all. And you'll see here, now that I picked them all, they're all part of that. So now if I go back to timestamp order, you'll see there's my so, and then you'll see all the additional bodies that are attached to it. And this does the same thing for any feature that goes into the tree. So in this case, that uh, other view, this view here, is almost a relational view. It's showing you what's uh, related to that feature by nesting everything appropriately into the tree. So it's a it's a really good way to look at things in certain cases now in, the, in this instance uh, what I like to do with these types of uh, features like in this case I have a, a surface right this is a sheet body um, if I ever get to the point where I want to sort of simplify the tree with my sheet bodies in this case this is a uh, data that was translated in from alias and I want to see this as just one single body all the time I don't want anything else what I do at this point is right I can look at it in this context and now I see just simply the so feature and body and everything else is nested within the so this is one way to do that it cleans up your tree kind of nice another thing that I do on occasion is like in this case I don't care about the actual so feature it means nothing to me because I just want a single uh, feature or single body in this case again these are all unparametric surfaces from a different CAD system what I will do is I will go in and do a remove parameters by doing a remove parameters yeah I want to remove my parameters I've done my so now I'm removing the parameters of the so what it does is it forgets that everything else is there so now I have one single now if I go back into timestamp there's my one single feature. So by removing the parameters of that so, I'm getting rid of the history of all of those additional features down below. So this really helps clean up the tree significantly. And one of the reasons why I like doing this is if I have two separate sheet bodies and their edges are laying on top of one another, the system has to uh, basically uh, define that visual for both independent edges by making them one edge with the so and then removing those features now I all I have is just one single edge between those two boundaries and um, or between those two faces that one edge becomes that boundary so I reduced the load for refresh 
uploading visualization, so on and so forth, because now I have one single body versus thousands of bodies or hundreds of bodies or whatever that number is displaying each one of those edges independently. So that's one little trick that I like to use. Now, uh, another little trick that's kind of nice is uh, for, for a lot of people, let me just go ahead and undo this and let's just delete. Yeah, that's fine. If I go into here, let me take that, let me delete. There we go. All right. Actually, let me do it this way. There we go. Now, I'm showing just the one surface. And the reason why I wanted to do this is um actually you know what? let me delete them all to clean up the tree to make it just a little easier so here's my one surface and and i'm just going to come in here and i'm going to go into offset i'm going to thicken this and once i thicken this right there's my thickened surface i'm going to right mouse click i'm going to turn off timestamp order what i want you to notice is that in this case this thicken sh shows that body as its driver, and because this is a separate individual body, it still shows that body externally. This is good to do in this case because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the solid body. I'm going to right mouse click on that solid body. And what this allows me to do here is assign materials to the actual body. So if you want an accurate, accurate weight or representation, you assign material to the actual body, not the features externally. And now you go in here, your body selected. Um, maybe I want, let me go to a, a 5860 aluminum. And this now has the appropriate density on the body. So when you go and run your analysis for weight, you'll get the appropriate weight because you need to apply the actual density, the actual material to the body, that collecting agent, not just the feature down below. And this is how you go about doing it. So it's important that you understand that. Now, if I, again, right mouse click, I go to timestamp order, you'll notice that that feature is now there, that body is no longer visual. If I right mouse click over here, what I want you to notice is that I do not have that assign material because um, that's the feature it isn't the actual body so um, you, you may have some of the various visualization tools that uh, um, that you use in the past like here's the studio materials and if I want to see that I would have to change it and then I can apply that material to it drag and drop but once again let me go to the studio once again, I'm not actually taking on any of the material properties. These are just um, visualization properties. That's all they are. They're not actual weight. So if you want to see the actual weight, you have to go into the part navigator. You have to go in here, turn off timestamp order, and then for that, go to your assigned materials. Okay, and as you can see, if I go back in there, you can see my aluminum is assigned to that. All right, so those are some little helpful hints as far as uh, bodies, sheet bodies, what you see in the tree, how to visualize it, where to assign your weights, or I'm sorry, your, your mass properties, and so on. And uh, that's basically, uh, a lot of people don't ever get that, or are, are, are lacking that kind of knowledge when they go into the design world, right? Somebody says, okay, what's the weight of your part? I'm like, oh, I don't know, how do I figure that out? And it's, um, that's basically it. Anyway, I hope it helped. Uh, please like the video, share with your friends, and if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm always putting out content every two, three, four days, try to anyway. And uh, for those of you interested, the online school that I'm partnering with, ASE Institute, you'll see the name up in the corner and down below a little card. Uh, we're actually starting to schedule classes, so if you're interested, please feel free to visit the site. It's not complete. We're getting there, but uh, the partnership's all laid out. Everything's ready to go, and uh, hope to see you there. Anyway, take care.